Hey, I'm Sean from Sprinkler Daddy, and in this video I just wanted to do a, a quick um, talk about a, one of the many solutions um, when you're talking about backflow prevention for sprinkler systems. Uh, backflow is a difficult issue because um, all the different areas, whether you be in the United States, Canada, seem to have different requirements for backflow. So there isn't when you when you talk about backflow, there isn't just one uh, solution that will necessarily work for the codes in your area. So that's something that you'll have to check out with your uh, local plumbing codes and that sort of thing. But um, sometimes you'll have um, backflow prevention already incorporated in the plumbing inside the house. Other times you have to come up with uh, something different. Sometimes you call for a uh, sometimes there's a call for a double check valve, sometimes it's a pressure vacuum breaker, um, sometimes there's, there's a variety of different options that might apply in your area. But what I want to do in this video is just talk about one um, possible solution for you, and that is a pressure vacuum breaker that I've got here. This one's from Wilkins, and we carry this in the Sprinkler Daddy Sprinkler store. So a little plug there, if you're looking for one, you can, uh, you can go check it out in the store, and I'll have the links uh, in the description of this video. But um, basically, we've We've got this um, vacuum breaker rigged up um, with all the fittings that you would probably need to um, put it on a three-quarter inch female thread and then go uh, down into a poly pipe system. So um, it, in the store it doesn't come with all these items but uh, you can definitely contact us or um, hopefully I'll have all the other items that you'll need up there so that you can bundle it all together. So um, basically I'll just walk you through. Um, where you're going to come out from your house is is right here and the water will flow up into here out here and down here into your sprinkler system so what this does is um, if there's ever any um, vacuum um, or a vacuum effect in your from your main water source um, the water will get can get sucked back through your sprinklers and back into the water supply and uh, obviously that's not a good thing uh, because of the contaminants that could be in your yard so um, this is a solution to that so when basically if there is uh, back pressure um, from the uh, I believe it's from the from the main water um, if that's uh, sucking water or trying to suck water back uh, from your yard into the system, um, basically right here, this uh, pressure vacuum breaker will break the seal and won't let water back into the system. So, um, basically, something to know about this, you have to install it at least uh, 12 inches above the highest sprinkler. So, if you've got a, a sloping yard, uh, for some reason you've got one way up on a hill, um, this might not work unless you can somehow get it up in the air um, so it's going to be 12 inches above that highest hill, so um, just something that you should know. So um, let me just go through how I've kind of got this rigged up. Um, basically, we've got a uh, three-quarter inch uh, brass nipple here that we will screw into the wall, um, your three-quarter inch female thread. And we've also got on, uh, that's, that's into a, a brass T basically with a lawn service on there so that you can still um, hook up to a tap there so you don't lose your lawn service. Um, and then you go obviously up into your vacuum breaker that comes out to here. And then what we've done is we've added another T here with a, with a uh, snifter valve on it so that you can blow out your lines in the, uh, in the fall. And then we've got an adapter here that'll go down um, into your manifold. So, Basically, um, that's a quick crash course on what we've got for pressure vacuum breakers to help with backflow prevention in your sprinkler system.